translates uh, final uh, to the to see the full quantization of how you felt. Uh, so uh, for that, I already uh, uh, back to Professor Luis uh, Hill and collaboration. And uh, theoretically, everybody know uh, that the Professor Shou Chen Zhang is one of the uh, uh, pioneer in the topological instance theory. And uh, we actually he do a lot of the advice and help. Uh, actually, we act, we actually collaborate uh, very much. And also we collaborate with Professor Fang Zhongdei and IOP, uh, Professor Zhu, Professor Duan, and uh, the Liu Chaoxin now at Penn State. Everybody know he's a younger uh, uh, star, and Xiaoliang Qi and Stanford University now. Uh, that time at the beginning, uh, so they are the uh, student and postdoc uh, in Professor Zhu and Professor Zhang School and Xinhua. And uh, we also uh, collaborate with uh, my former student, Professor Xia, who gave a lecture here. And, uh, my former postdoc, and also the next speaker, the lecture, uh, Professor Shen Jinqing, gave a lot of uh, advice, uh, particularly for the understanding the detail of the contact analysis effect. Uh, and also, we have some collaboration on other uh, experiments. Professor Shen Beizhang did a lot of the uh, first principal calculation uh, to understand the doping mechanism for the magnetic topology insulator or the intrinsic defect in the topology insulator. So we have actually a uh, very strong uh, collaboration uh, within the experimental uh, you know, side. Also, in the experimental side have a strong collaboration with the theory. I think it's now the, uh, one of the trend in the scientific research since the, uh, the problem we are dealing uh, is, become, is becoming more and more complicated. So this is uh, Also, I have to really mention some of our the hard working students so uh, my group, uh, uh, we started from the, uh, we started this experiment uh, around 2008. So my student Li and the one uh, for the particular uh, for the quantum anomalous effect uh, done by the uh, Chang uh, Fei Du Chang, and uh, he now the, uh, moved to the U.S. in the, doing the post and MIT, and uh, uh, Miss Feng Xiao is still finishing. Uh, uh, his her PhD in my group and uh, Professor Mas group uh, and RBP, you have also have four students working on that. For transport, uh, Professor Wang Ya, these the students, the list of the students in the Professor Ya Yu Wang's group, uh, and uh, I think uh, some of the, who is here? Uh, uh, Zhang Yinsong, and uh, uh, some of the students are in the audience, and also uh, Sen Jie, uh, she uh, made, uh, did uh, this. Uh, that he uh, made care of measurement for the for quantization. So I think uh, uh, I really uh, uh, pride of having so many uh, colleagues and great students working together with us. So I just show you some, give you some flavor. This is, uh, I think, uh, after the uh, 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 finishing the last experiment uh, in uh, December 6 of 2012. Uh, we took a picture. Uh, this is uh, Professor Chen Xi, uh, Professor Wang Yayu, and uh, Dr. Hege, and uh, Professor Ma. This is Professor Li Li. So we have this. Uh, uh, the results is, uh, was uh, obtained at this temperature, and we get this full quantization without this uh, much interfere. So this is the, the picture of our students. I think uh, you can, I, uh, who is here? So uh, I give a very short introduction about the whole effect, the quantum the whole effect, also uh, our uh, uh, team for this uh, quantum anomalous whole experiment. Now I just uh, uh, move to the second part, after the most important part, uh, particularly the experiment proves and the characterization of the electronic structure of a topological insulator uh, prepared by molecular beam epic axis. So uh, in this summer school, uh, I think a uh, uh, lot of people uh, already uh, talk about the concept uh, theoretically on the topological insulator. So just uh, let me uh, uh, do a very simple uh, review on the topological insulator from the point of view experimentalist. 
So according to the Banner theory, in a very simple Banner theory in the solid physics, if we want to classify the materials, basically, from the structure, the band structure, there are only two kinds of materials. One is the conductor, where you have this uh, one is band and the conduct band. In this case, the Fermi energy located in the conduct band. Another one is the insulator. Uh, the Fermi energy just located in between the uh, one is, uh, one is uh, band and the conduct band uh, within the gap. So uh, the transport along the Fermi energy uh, for example, the uh, Fermi energy, they know any electronic state, so that's why we get the uh, insulating property if you measure the time talk. So this is a very simple uh, uh, class, uh, class fitting, but from this cl uh, class fitting, you can understand all the, uh, most of the part of the uh, conductivity you measure. And, uh, so this, I just show you the different uh, comparison between the ordinary insulator I just mentioned and the topology insulator. So and I just mentioned that for the ordinary insulator, you have this conducting band and the wireless band. If you consider the uh, spin splitting, there is a spin polarized band, so the, like this spin down band and a spin up band, same thing. So basically, they no level crossing, the band crossing, you have a very, uh, very defined gap between the, the bottom of the conducting band and the, the top of the wireless band. For the ordinary insulator, the Fermi energy located as a, something uh, in this gap, somewhere in this gap. So if the gap is not a very big, and if we consider the very strong spin orbital coupling, which particularly becomes significant in the you know very heavy element, so we know that, that this is the uh, uh, the activity effect become very important. Uh, so this is strong, uh, this is spin, of, spin orbital coupling become very important. Uh, then you have the, this two band getting the closer, uh, closer. Eventually they interact. I think a prof probably that uh, Professor Singh will explain this one in the ne next uh, 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 lecture in this morning. <coughs> and uh, once you have the interaction between the conducting and the one band. Uh, then this kind of band structure change to this one. So, and uh, you have the, actually now that you have the, this conduction band like the parabolic thing, but now this is starting from the conduction band, they merge to the wireless band. So if you com com compare the topology of this kind of band structure and this band structure, then you immediately, they have the topology difference. So just like if we, uh, 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 relate the, this kind of structure to this one, and then this one is more or less like this. So topologi uh, topologically, the structure, this one and this one, different. So this is a very simple understanding of the band structure difference between an ordinary insulator and a topological insulator. So one thing we have to, I have to emphasize here is uh, you need uh, this very spin, uh, very strong spin of the coupling to mix the band, have this band inversing or the band twisting, just like uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, ring. If you want to change the topology, you have to cut it and rotate the 180 degree and connect together. So something, this kind of the, you know, the uh, change made by this spin of the coupling automatically in the materials, as long as your materials have a very heavy element. So if you look at the, uh, you have the, this very, the, the, uh, very robust the Dirac point here, and near the Dirac point, uh, the, the, the band dispersion become linear. So in the three dimensional, you have the fully spin polarized and the linear dispersed Dirac point. So this is the magic thing. Uh, this is explaining all the magic thing of the topological insulator. So I think uh, just like this, and uh, if we reclass uh, reclassify our materials use this kind of uh, simple band theory, you have in addition to the uh, ordinary conductor and the ordinary insulator, now we have the topology insulator. Since the materials bulk is insulating, and this this the, the, the direct con, uh, the linear dispersed the, uh, the states only appear at the surface or the interface uh, on the materials. So just like uh, you have the insulator, by consideration of this uh, spin order coupling, you have some of the 
very thin conducting layer at the boundary, as you can in this case on the surface, just they caught this conductor rod onto the, uh, this uh, uh, ceramic, you have this kind of structure. So this is uh, some very simple understanding of the topological insulator. The thickness of this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this conducting layer, surface relate, space related conducting layer is uh, uh, around the one nanometer. Uh, we will function to keep lengths of uh, the surface depth, so very thin. So if you, uh, the, uh, uh, what the difference, uh, uh, the, the difference of electronic fact from the uh, electronic surrounding graphene is this, uh, this band is fully spin polarized. So I, I just um, write this uh, in the moment space, so you have the E and the versus the uh, V vector, X and Y, and uh, you have this black top. At this point, you have a spin point of this direction, and if you change another k, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the spin also uh, cut, they locked together, also change. For example, in the positive k way, and this, uh, the spin point of this direction, in the minus k way, the spin polarization is just opposite. So this is the indicator, the very important thing is that so if you, uh, uh, the, 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 in a K-way direction, if the electron, you know, real space moving in this direction, simply polarizing uh, around this direction, if they're moving another direction, and then the spin polarizing will also uh, change the opposite. So this indicates the uh, essence of the band scattering. So band scattering, if we have no band scattering, that's very important for the developer, the spin tonic device, uh, I think I already know that. So uh, another uh, implication for the application is this uh, uh, related to the transistor or integrated circuit uh, power consumption. So I just uh, use the so Cheng's figure, and uh, this uh, in this figure is uh, this axis is the power density consumption uh, consumed and. and uh, uh, and versus for technology node or the size of the device. For the 50 nanometer, uh, you know, the transistor, and you can see the red part is the passive power consumption, almost equal to the uh, you know, actual power consumption. So it means half of the uh, electricity we use for running the computer or the chip is used for the useless. So if we can use this kind of the, uh, uh, idea without uh, any band scanning, and then we can cure and uh, at, at least uh, significantly reduce the uh, power, uh, this uh, passive power that can save a lot of energy. So, this is one of the implications in the application. So I think uh, this uh, everybody know uh, this uh, for the topology research, uh, we have the only one single uh, direct con and uh, in addition to this uh, future application in symptonics uh, and uh, also the quantum computation, uh, there are a lot of proposals. So I think uh, this is some school, a lot of the people already know that. So in the first part, I mentioned uh, the discovery of a quantum, quantum Hall effect build uh, some of the new uh, stage of the physics. So where I uh, just mentioned the, the, the physical parameter or the, the, the results he measured from the experiment, <coughs> like the whole uh, resistance is the independent size and the, and the, the geometry of the materials in the uh, four quantization the chip. So for topological insulator, that since the proposal of the rest of the world, Back to the 2004 by the um, uh, by the Kane and the Miller and the Lehman uh, and the, the uh, several others and also including the Sultan and they did no much experiment in the transport measurement. The first big thing is this realization of uh, quantized the uh, spin hole effect. So Sultan uh, used uh, proposed this uh, much. Uh, this is super lattice so made by this <coughs> uh, uh, semiconductor mercury uh, the telluride uh, the, the, the device is very complicated 
and uh, they proposed uh, this idea uh, in uh, 2006, so this as a uh, uh, two-dimensional topological insulator. Later on, they collaborated uh, with the modern camera in Wurzburg uh, uh, to make this device. Eventually, they observed this uh, quantized spin hole effect. So for the normal insulator, this is basically uh, related to the bad gap. And uh, if you, the Fermi energy or the chemical particles fall into the gap, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, the Fermi energy, no any available electronic state uh, to make the uh, transport. So you, if you measure the uh, whole resistance and the function of this uh, Fermi energy or chemical potential within the gap, you get the zero conductivity. Okay, so this is, uh, everybody knows this is a uh, uh, characteristic of a normal insulator. Uh, but uh, the even for this uh, quantum, uh, micro uh, telluride quantum <coughs> well, with the thickness of the well is larger than this, around the six or seven nanometer, and uh, even the chemical potential fall into this uh, located at the gap, uh, and you still have this constant value or the quantum value at least two times of the E square uh, over this uh, Planck constant H. So this is the indication of the uh, quantum spin hole effect. I think uh, all, many people are amazing. I just uh, indicated this is the first transport, uh, transport experiment to show the magic property of the topological insulator. In this case, of the two dimensional. Okay? And uh, we started this uh, uh, experiment in the topological insulator and uh, with this three materials called the three dimensional topological insulator, insulator business cellulite and business telluride and telluride. So the, those three materials are independently proposed by two groups. Hassan's group and Su Chen and Fang Zhong Dai Xi. They published the same issue at uh, uh, same issue in the May of the 2009, Nature Physics. So uh, they, uh, yeah, uh, let's just take the Bismarck Senate as an example. You have this, uh, this is a, uh, uh, you know, the regular conduction band. This is the regular wireless band. If you include the uh, skin optical coupling uh, into this, uh, uh, into the calculation, you see this very simple uh, surface states. Also, and you can see here, this uh, from the uh, Hassan's collaborator. I do not know the, I do not remember the main name of this uh, theoretician. And this is from the uh, Dai Xi together with the Su Chen. So basically, same thing happened to the actual telluride, the conductor band, the wireless band, you have a very simple uh, surface state to a call. And same thing here. Only thing difference from, uh, uh, this is special because the duacal polyton buried in the wireless band around here. But uh, in this case and in this case, the direct point uh, nearly close to the gap. So, this, uh, this. so uh, after we, uh, we, we read, after we read this, uh, uh, this paper, we start the experiment because this is two, uh, this is much sure we can uh, realize in our MD system. <coughs> so the first generation topology is, uh, is uh, this, uh, uh, I just mentioned about two terabyte I think in the world, uh, there are very few groups uh, who prepare high quality mercury terabyte by the MD. Also the mercury is very uh, dangerous, uh, toxic materials. And the second generation topology is uh, this uh, bismuth must adopt with the antimony. That's uh, I think uh, that this is the alloy for the alloy from the point of the experiment, it's very difficult to control the, uh, precisely the composition. So since the bismuth selenide and this series have a very uh, def well defined uh, composition, two to six for the, this group five and six. So that uh, means this thermally uh, stable material, we can uh, uh, you know, prepare the compound by the standard MD. So that's uh, the, after the theoretical uh, pro, uh, the, the, uh, prediction, uh, two groups immediately realized this uh, uh, demonstrated the simple direct count due to the spin of the coupling. So I just uh, showed the results from the, uh, this collaboration, uh, Stanford uh, Journal group, uh, uh, Professor Fisher's group, and uh, Professor Sensor group. So Professor Fisher, 
uh, prepare this high quality material to this paper writer, and the Professor Chen's group measured the uh, band structure uh, by the apex uh, done by the younger, uh, the last time he was a student, Chen uh, Yuling. <coughs> and, and you can clearly see you have the wireless band and the conduction band, more important between, within the, near the gap, around the gap. And you see this is very beautiful, nearly uh, linearly discussed uh, surface space back. And this is the case of the uh, Princeton uh, collaboration and uh, Professor Kawa from the chemistry department uh, prepared this high quality sample of uh, bismuth selenide and the Hassan uh, group measured the uh, band structure by architects. Again, you can see this uh, uh, conduction band and the valence band and also this very beautiful, uh, very simple uh, the account uh, surface states. So one thing, uh, when I read the paper, if you look at the, also if you look at the electronic structure near the Fermi energy, in addition to the, uh, you know, this surface states, you have a very strong signal contribution from the bulk conductive band near the Fermi energy. So clearly, if you measure the material transport property around the Fermi energy, you have both surface states and the bulk states, which is trivial. And uh, then the transport will be dominated by the you know, bulk, uh, bulk electronic states. In this case, it's very difficult to identify the contribution from the surface states and that from the, you know, the bulk states. Probably the, the transport will be dominated by this uh, very significant uh, bulk states. So, who may, uh, means uh, this of this those experiments suggest uh, our materials for this uh, single crystal bismuth pyrite and bismuth selenide are actually uh, any type of conductor, just like uh, the normal uh, like zinc oxide, gamma arsenide, as a prepared sample is always as a prepared sample is always the any type of conductor. It's very difficult to make the insulation materials. So the, the reason is the weakness of the uranium uh, 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 and the selenium. Because uh, if you uh, mix the, the tellurium and the bismuth together, the tellurium evaporate or in the form of the uh, molecule. You know, if you look at the group of four, and uh, you have oxygen and the sulfur and the tellurium and the selenium, if you evaporate the heat, the raw materials, the, the form of the uh, the volatile form of this material is always in the form of molecule. So you have to break the molecule to react with the bismuth, which is usually in the form of atom. So in this case, the molecule is strongly bound together, so it's difficult to separate. And that's why you always have the vacancy of the tellurium and the selenium. That uh, makes the material an anti-type conductor. So basically, we we read uh, we 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 come, we jump uh, we jump into this field. We have the uh, fundamental problem, my trust, whether we can prepare the high quality materials. We can move the Fermi energy into the gap. Let the Fermi energy only cross the surface space. In this case, if you measure the transporter. And uh, since the transport will be dominated by the surface, the, the electronic state near the Fermi energy, then you can really the, get the property of these surface states. So this is a very important material in the starting point of our experiment to explore all these property, exotic property of the topology insulator related to these surface states, related to this direct call. So I have to. For that reason, I have to realize, uh, emphasize why the, the challenge here. So I just, uh, uh, you know, the site, the paper uh, by Professor Sin Chun and uh, Professor uh, Fisher, the paper again, they studied this piece must carry right. The result is beautiful. Uh, the, the, this, the single crystal sample prepared by Professor Fisher used the uh, Self-flux method. Professor Fisher is a very great uh, the crystal uh, a scientist in the crystal growth. So look at the the procedure to prepare a single crystal. 
they, uh, of course, pick the high, high, high uh, purity, bismuth raw materials, high purity uh, and uh, they, uh, they mix the, uh, them together in, the, uh, in this composition, two to three, and uh, put them in, a, uh, I think, a quint tube. Uh, very good at the quint tube. Heat and this is the same quantity that we see for two hours. They cool down the temperature from the same quantity that we see to the four seventy degrees C in this uh, eighty hours, uh, ninety hours. So the reason to use this long time of uh, cooling is to, you know, uh, try to make the reaction of the bismuth and the perillium very uniformly around the anywhere of the you know this uh, this tube. So that's why the, to make this ideal, uh, you know, two to three, uh, you know, stoichiometric uh, compound. So basically, if we look at this requirement, let's take about the five base to grow one sample. I think, that of course, uh, this is a standard cell glass maker. But uh, as I just mentioned, uh, still, even the uh, experiment, experiment and the crystal growth is uh, very, very carefully done. But the, uh, due to the intrinsic problem of this uh, cell flux method for this uh, particular case, still the, the sample is conducting. The same thing for this piece cell method, method that the crystal growth method is, is very similar. They use this uh, heat and the mixture of the bismuth selenium at this temperature, 80, 850 degrees C, and a core cooling from 850 degrees C to the 200 degrees lower for in two days and keep this temperature for seven days to make a very uniform reaction to reach this two to three stoichiometric <coughs> within this uh, you know this uh, uh, this uh, uh, you know this uh, 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 tube is uh, uh, for the uniform reaction so me the the, the the equipment is very very care was very very carefully done, but uh, still uh, the electronic structure uh, you know near the front end is dominated by the bulk uh, states. Most likely come from the they are come from the uh, selenium weakness. And another group of Tokyo, uh, they are more one step further. They just starting from uh, they they are. Just make the magnetic dot the materials using this manganese with this compound. I think <coughs> we published the paper in the August of the uh, last year, and uh, same thing, like they take the same days or the basically two weeks to grow one sample, very high quality uniform sample by this self flux method in the Professor uh, Toklas group. But, uh, and uh, you can, if you read the paper, the sample still conducting. So why, you may ask. So this is not the problem of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the group or the method, because this is the, 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 the two elements make the, making the compound have a very special property, like the zinc oxide. The zinc oxide has, has been long predicted as the next generation uh, semiconductor for the optoelectronics. That's uh, I think everybody talking about zinc oxide back to the 10 years ago until now, okay? Oxide, uh, zinc oxide is very stable in the ambient condition. The gap is uh, 3 point some, uh, 3 point some EV, uh, EV, something EV, and the zinc is very good for the, you know, the, the uh, optoelectronic in the, in the blue uh, wavelengths and so on. But so far, if you go to the field of the semiconductor, particular growth, material growth, still the zinc oxide and the prepared zinc oxide by the MD, M3D, and cell flux method, any method, always uh, anti for the conductor. Even you use a very high quality raw material zinc and a very high uh, purity oxygen gas, still your 
mature is the end time conductor. The main reason is the oxygen weakness. Well, the main defect.